Okay, so we have the Leaving Cert starting this week. Maths paper one is on Friday. Maths paper two is the following Monday. So in this video, I'm just gonna quickly go through the structure of the exam, because it's a little bit different this year. And then I'm gonna give my recommendations for how many questions you should do on each uh, section on each paper. So this uh, document here is, uh, or this is part of the document that the State Examinations Commission uh, released with uh, going through the structure of the paper. I'm just gonna zoom in on the important bits here. So this year, uh, the mark allocation will be 220 marks in each paper instead of 300 marks. So that makes it a little bit different for us. In section A, there's 120 marks, and in section B, there's 100 marks. Section A has six questions, while section B has four questions. Now, the minimum that you have to answer in on the paper is answer four out of six in section A, and two out of four in section B. Now, what I'm gonna recommend is for section A. For section A, do five out of six. So do one extra. For section B, do three out of four. So also do one extra. Now, the good thing about this, if you do one extra in each section, that's 150 marks in each section for 300 marks in total. This makes it the same as a normal leave insert paper, except you still have a choice because you're still allowed to leave out one question. If we do five out of six in section A and three out of four in section B, then that makes our timing easy. So our timing is gonna be the same as what it would be in a normal leave insert year. So uh, timing is gonna be two marks per minute. That's the rule that you use. So in this exam, all of the questions in section A are 30 marks. So that means you're gonna take 15 minutes max in each question in section A. In section B, they're all worth 50 marks this year. So that means you're gonna use a maximum of 25 minutes per question in section B. Now, if you want a bit of time at the start to read through the paper, pick your questions, and then at the end to go back over your exam, you might want to reduce this down a little bit and stick to maybe 13 minutes for section A questions and 23 minutes for section B questions. And that'll just give you a little bit of time to read through the paper at the start, pick your questions, and then at the end to go back over it um, to make sure that you've answered everything that you need to answer. So that for me is the best way to do it. Um, I'm recommending do one extra question in each section, which means you're leaving out one question in each section as well. And it's the same for both papers. I'll say one more thing, and that is don't do all of the questions. So, don't do all of the questions. If you do all of the questions, then you're gonna put yourself under time pressure then to get them all done. Um, I think you'd be much better off just sticking to the two marks per minute rule and doing five out of six in section A and three out of four in section B. Okay, so if you have any questions, ask them below in the comments um, and best luck in the exams. I'm sure you'll all do great and thanks for watching.